For the thing about me and Dame is like whatever we whatever we whatever we don't agree on, you know, we can always talk to each other and we can always whether I'm wrong or whether he's wrong or whatever, we can always see our way through it. It's never a problem that we can't see our way through it and people just blew it up to be more than what it was. I mean, it's what we've been doing for forever. Rockefeller Records was founded by Damon Dash, Kareem Biggs Burke and Jay-Z in 1995 under the Def Jam Recordings umbrella. Responsible for albums such as Jay-Z's The Blueprint, Beanie's Eagles The Truth, Kanye West's The College Dropout and Memphis Bleak's The Coming of Age. The legendary hip-hop imprint was one of the most lucrative labels in late 90s 2000s rap. Ultimately, Rockefeller crumbled due to rumored friction between Jay-Z and Dame Dash. But according to an interview with The Social Proof podcast, Dame said Jay-Z's real issues were with Biggs, not him. And the reason why Rockefeller broke up in the first place was because he didn't want to break bread with Biggs no more. And I was like, yo, we can start something really? different. But yeah, but I can't do that to Biggs. You know hold what on, I mean? hold on. What you mean he didn't want to break? What do you mean? He didn't want Biggs to be a part of it anymore. That's what happened. He probably like lean on us and was like, yo, I should get more. And I'm like, I'm the best CEO in the world. I'm not doing that. All right. But since then, Jay-Z, Kareem Biggs and Dame Dash appeared to secretly rekindle their relationship judging by a recent photograph. Veteran hip-hop artist DJ Clark Kent, who produced three songs on Reasonable Doubt, shared an Instagram photo of the three and himself, DJ Clark Kent wrote in the caption, The manager. The MC. The DJ. Always great to see my brothers even though at the time the photo was taken Dame claimed Biggs and Jay wasn't talking for two years but sources as well as the photo taken with the two says otherwise in fact the old Rockefeller super team meets in secret frequently to discuss family matters and new discreet business ventures. They like to throw the public off by having scripted WWE style feuds between each other so the public cannot connect the dots. But all in all they are still a secret brotherhood. For the thing about me and Dame is like whatever we whatever we whatever we don't agree on, you know, we can always talk to each other and we can always whether I'm wrong or whether he's wrong or whatever, we can always see our way through it. It's never a problem that we can't see our way through it and people just blew it up to be more than what it was. I mean it's what we've been doing for forever. Mm -hmm. You know, we're two different people, you know what I'm saying? He's a loud guy, I'm a laid back guy. Like we you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be times where we don't, we're not on the hundred, hundred percent on the same page, but we, we're friends. As you can see, Dame, Biggs and Jay relationship is still fully intact. This is information that general fans are not privy to know. As they continue to work with each other behind the scenes, the general public and the media will only see a fictitious longtime family Freud, which will continue to be a master plan of marketing genius to continue to push their individual brands by manipulating the masses to tune into a fake dramatic beef between a tight blood and blood out brotherhood. Again, these are people that you yourself out of your own mouth that stated with your brothers. You know, these are people that were around your kids. I mean, it's all I, No, no, they still my brothers. No, no, I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, yo, like, even if it's some bullshit, like, like, even if a nigga does the wrong moral shit, there's still a brotherhood, but you just don't fuck with him. But on a, like, moral level, it'll be like, yo, I know your family, I know this. I'm never going to do nothing with you. You know, I'm not going to go there with you. I'm going to just leave you alone. But I'm going to always, just as a human being, respect the brotherhood. Like, even if you don't respect the brotherhood, I'm not going to dim my light and not respect the brotherhood. Right. That's why I never ran into a court before for them. I would never do that to them. Like, before that, I would holler at them. And that's what's confusing to me. And that's that. That's the respect we both have for that brotherhood, the Rockefeller brotherhood. The Rock La Familia Brotherhood is still alive and well despite a recent fictitious lawsuit being reported between Jay and Dave. Jay-Z and Rockefeller Records sued Damon Dash in June for allegedly trying to auction off Jay-Z's 1996 debut album Reasonable Doubt in a non-fungible token form. Although the auction never took place, Dash was accused of frantically scouting for another venue to make the sale in efforts to cash out what he feels he's owed. Dash quickly fired back and claimed the lawsuit was full of inaccuracies, pointing out it's not just Reasonable Doubt he's trying to sell. Rather, it's his entire one-third stake in Rockefeller Records. And I'm selling my interest, my one-third, just like the judge ruled that I yeah, could. Yeah, I was just about to ask you about that. You want to talk about that? Though? Yeah, you know, bottom line is I wasn't trying to sell the whole thing. So yeah, that TRL stands. But within it, 
I can sell my third. So I'm just gonna do it. You know, I'm gonna do it myself. If somebody wanna buy it, they buy it, they don't. It's cool, we have another issue. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna play fair. I want everyone to really scrutinize and watch what's going on and make a very realistic, logical judgment, not based on emotion, emotion, and learn from it. But, but I would prefer that we just sit in the room for the culture, talk it out, so they can see this is how niggas really, real niggas deal with shit. Yeah. They don't go to court. Real niggas don't go to court. I mean, they can sit down and talk. Yeah. So I, I ain't got no choice now to sue. So, you know, I prefer to do it a different way. And I want that on the record. Yeah, no, this no, shit, no. I, And from my perspective, this shit is old. This shit corny. We could have dealt with this different. But I'm sick of this shit. I got other shit to do. So Biggs and Jay, holla at me. He says Jay-Z attempted to buy his share of Rockefeller in March at a price he deemed unacceptable. So he was looking for another buyer. When and if he finds the buyer, Dash said, under the terms of the deal with a potential buyer, the buyer would buy my share of Rockefeller Records and Jay-Z will have exclusive administration rights. Dash believed the lawsuit was simply a scare tactic to prevent him from selling something he believes he has the legal right to sell. Days after the lawsuit was made public, Jay-Z commissioned multidisciplinary artist Derek Adams to carve out a reasonable doubt NFT to be unveiled on June 25th exactly 25 years after its initial release almost like a slap in the face to dash again this is another one of their genius marketing schemes to celebrate jay biggs and dame 25th anniversary of their first independent album together as rockefeller records reasonable doubt this fictitious lawsuit was also used to up the market price of a crypto reasonable doubt nft as you can see these three brothers along with Kanye West are marketing geniuses. They've been fooling all of us for more than a decade and have made 100s of millions of dollars on the publicity alone of their WWE style beef. You heard it here first at night and day talk media. Please don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe. If you can't sleep, if you can't sleep, you got post-traumatic stress syndrome from being in the hood. You got pain, like I can't sleep. You got pain, you got all this crazy thing. It's 2.30 in the morning right now, no, 2.40. And I cannot sleep worth a shit. You need to get your thing right, go get the CBD. If you got pain, you suffer from anxiety, go get your CBD smokes. You know what I mean, if you suffer from anxiety, go get the CBD smokes, CBD gummies, the CBD oils. CBD gummies and CBD oils at nightanddaycbdhub.com. At nightanddaycbdhub.com. Trust me, I got off of bogeys from fucking with CBD, and I am the bogey man. Night and day, I'm coming for my products. I'm coming for my package. I need it right now. Matter of fact, I'm going to text you the address when I'm done with this, and I need my package. So make sure you go get it, man. Go get your gummies, your CBD oils, and your CBD bogeys. It's a fact. CBD smokes. Night and day, CBD hub.com you got them symptoms don't take my word for it go see night and day cbd hub.com your boy nre <laughs> this is red man and i approve this message